Speed's coverage of the NASCAR Sprint Showdown is brought to you by NASCAR Banking, only from Bank of America. Your debit card, your credit card, your driver. Learn more at a Bank of America Banking Center. Carl Long, the independent driver from Roxborough, North Carolina, has taken his car to the garage. The Romeo Guest Construction Dodge is out of the race. We saw what looked like an oil pump belt out there on the apron of the racetrack, and Carl's car was smoking when it pulled in. Okay, it's time for the first of our two Catch the Race, Catch the Cash questions tonight. Who qualified on the pole for the 2009 NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race? If you know the answer, you play by filling out the form at speedtv.com, keyword All-Star, and choose the correct answer. Or you can play by texting the correct answer, 1, 2, 3, or 4, to speed 3. That's 773333 on your mobile phone. If you answer correctly, you have a shot at $2,500. If you answer both of tonight's question correctly, you'll have a chance to win the grand prize, $25,000 to you, and all taxes paid. Good luck. You know, we mentioned that we felt like this caution really was in favor of Scott Riggs, the 36 car. We saw him on pit road. They actually went under the hood of that 36 car. Said they made a shock adjustment. Joe Gibbs Brain Trust looking on and Carl how about Jamie Mack he is up 13 positions from the start. Yeah 13 spots here in the Crown Royal pit and uh, Jamie is uh, Lauren Rainier is up there on top uh, having you know yelling all sorts of pumped up things to Jamie getting getting him wound up and Jamie told Lauren he said just calm down calm down we'll be fine. So, <laughs> Jamie's Jamie's doing well in the car and uh, it looks like Scott's uh, speed I was uh, heard from him he's got liquid on his windshield his brakes are vibrating he does not know why I got to guess he probably stabbed him pretty hard going to the corner first time and uh, and one other thing Flea Flores down here had the chicken in Jamie's pits so he's not feeling so good that's what I got guys. That's an in-depth report. I'm as long as you didn't have the chicken, Carl, we'll be okay. I'm good. I'm okay. Good. With the double file restart, if you were running 12th, where David Gilliland was, you will restart six row outside. Pretty good. Time for our first question from Ask.com, official search engine of NASCAR. What make of car has the most all-star victories? If you want the answer now, go to ask.com. For NASCAR fans, go to get answers, the official search engine of NASCAR. You know, as we anticipated, even after just two laps of racing, we absolutely had a lot of comers and goers in the field, guys that were making moves from the back and guys at the front that were moving toward the back. Yeah, I think, you know, if you if you weren't real sure about your car, it was a crapshoot as to what to do to the thing. Uh, to start this race with it being such a short race. You didn't want to tighten it up too much, but saw some cars that look mighty loose. How about Dave Blaney up on the outside pole? Now here is a team that has not finished a race this year, not for lack of trying, but for lack of sponsorship and to have the money to buy tires to keep putting them on every stop to get that car to the finish line. But here's Blaney outside pole ready to go. And they have something on the car this weekend and they're going to race. Red Rocks Cafe down in Huntersville, here we go. Green flag. Blaney, Blaney spun the tires a little bit, guys. Yeah, and David Strimmy got a good run, but look at Truex in that one car. He took a notion to look at the inside of Strimmy, but Strimmy slammed the door on him. Look at Blaney go. And I tell you, that car is flying. Here comes Almendinger, 44 on the bottom. And Montoya and Reagan with Sam Hornish, who had to lift because the car ahead of him was slow into the corner. And I think we have to keep stressing, other than the fan vote, you finish first or second, you race in the all-star race, you finish third or worse, you contact, from contact. In the Boy, contact between the 20 and the 83 back there. They were bamming the heck out of each other. It's Joey Logano and Brian Vickers. And I think possibly Vickers has a tire yeah. rub, Daryl. He does. Uh, Larry, they, were, they, they wrecked each other, all, really. I don't know how they kept them spinning out. Let's watch a replay of it. Watch these two cars come off the corner. I was worried when they come off side by side like that. Contact, more contact. Wow. There was a little retaliation there that I think was a little <laughs> uncalled for. I, it, it certainly looked that way, Larry. Go hard or go home. Logano against Bill Elliott. All that experience against the rookie. Boy, he got a great break right there. And here's Almendinger trying David Reagan. Almendinger on the inside. Sixth place. Now fifth. Now sixth. 
Now, Allmendinger won this race a year ago and transferred into the All-Star race. I think, Larry, once, uh, once that 12 got the 66 off his back bumper, once he got Blaney off his back bumper, he's able to open up a little bit of space, but here comes his teammate looking pretty steamy as well. I tell you what, Sam Hornish in that 77 car as he pulls to the inside of Blaney, what he did through one and two, he ran the high side and got the run down the hill off two. Sam, had a, Sam has been running so, so much better. A couple of top 10 finishes recently, a lot more confidence. Daryl, it just looks like right now that high side, you just, you can keep it wound up up there. And as they run side by side, here comes David Reagan in the six. Well, speaking of David Reagan, we're 11 Trouble. laps into this Turn race. Turn one, Vickers has lost that left front tire and more. Yeah, yeah that's car is destroyed. Yeah. And there's the caution. Caution's out. Caution's out. That's, uh, uh, that's all caution. from the contact between he and the 20, which... The 83 was going by the 20 on the outside. They got together, and it looked like the 20 gave him another little extra shot as he went by. What I was going to say about David Reagan, Mike, he just ran his fastest lap of the race on lap 11. A lot of small pieces of debris down in turn one from uh, Brian Vickers' car. As he comes to pit road, we're under caution for the second time. Been a wild one already, and we're just getting started.